Welcome to PC View Tutorials. This first part of the tutorial will discuss the archive mechanism in PC View, what we call an archive unit, and how to define a proprietary archive unit. PC View records and displays the data in different manners, depending on the needs. The first step is to define how the data will be recorded. PC View supports several data recording systems defined through archive units used to configure the way that data are recorded. As we'll see later, different types of archive units exist depending on the system used to record the data to the disk. You can record a bit or register value and display the value in a trend viewer. You can also record different events such as alarm status, bit changes, or user action like log in, log off, or commands and display a list of events in a log viewer. You can configure several archive units of same or different types, and the same data can be recorded to several archive units at the same time. For example, we'd like to be able to display the recorded value of the time of the use for the light in a trend viewer. Also, we'd like to display a list of the recorded alarm status for the light, as well as the different on-off commands for the light. The configuration of archive units is done from the Application Explorer in the section Archives. To add a new archive unit, just right-click on the topic Archive Unit under Archives and open the pop-up menu Add an Archive Unit. There's different types of archive units which determine which system and format is used to record the data. The database unit defines the archive unit that will record the data to an industry standard database such as SQL Server using the historical data server HDS of PCView. This solution offers many advantages such as high performance, advanced functionalities like a native automatic redundant mechanism, and the possibility to access the data with a third-party product, but it is very important to note that this requires a lot of disk space. The proprietary unit defines a native system to record data in a proprietary manner in a text file. This solution optimizes space and is very powerful but does not allow a third-party product to access the data. The free unit defines a native system to record data in ASCII format, fully configurable. This solution is only used if access to the data is required in a simple ASCII file format by third-party product. The ODBC unit defines a native system using ODBC drivers to record data in the ODBC database in fixed format tables. The VCR unit defines a native system to record data in a proprietary file format specific to the VCR functionality. In this tutorial, we'll discuss the proprietary archive unit. First, enter a name for the archive unit. The name is limited to a maximum of 12 characters, and it is also the name of the folder in which the physical files are located. By default, this folder is located in the folder TH of the project. You can define the maximum size of the folder as well as the size of each file within the folder. Let's discuss how this works. To record the data, PCView first creates a file in the archive unit folder and writes the data to it. When the file reaches the maximum size defined for a file, a second file is created and filled, and so on. When the folder size defined is reached, PCView discards the oldest file and creates the next one in the sequence. For this project, we will define 1 megabyte for the archive unit and 10 kilobytes for the file. These values are not realistic and are used only for the tutorial demonstration. It's also possible to define a register variable used by PCView to store the fill rate of the archive unit. Click the ellipsis button to access the variable selector and create a new register. Enter a name, for example, fill rate. And the value returned by PCView is a percentage, so we can define the unit as a percentage and define the format to display the value when its unit as well as the max value equal to 100. Click OK and select the variable. As you can see, advanced tabs exist for backup and networking, which we'll discuss in the advanced tutorial. 
Also, you can see we can now define items for this archive unit, such as filters to record events called log lists, variables to be recorded as a trend, and additionally filters to create log reports. This last to topic will also be discussed in the advanced tutorial. And thank you for joining PCView Solutions Tutorials.